right, so this is the mini DV camera. It's got a tape camera, and you'll notice that um, there's a little control to pull down here and then pull up. And there's a slot to put a tape in. So you put the tape in like this. This is the tape side. It goes forward like this. And you push and you just wait. Now it, it has to have some power to do this. We have the battery. Um, but if you have the, um, oh, the DC power plugged in here but not plugged into an outlet, this won't work. So either plug this the power in here and into an outlet or just pull it out and run it off the battery, assuming the battery has power. And so we do that and we close it. And now it's ready. And if you'll see on the side, um, we're going to go to, we're going to push the green button in and push, pull this down and go up. And this is on camera mode. And with camera mode, we are ready to record. Um, and pretty much all you have to do is press this little, little red button and start recording. So you can see. Now, if you feel like you need to rewind um, the tape or fast forward or something like that, you come back here and, and you push the screen button, you pull down, but point that up, and then it goes into play edit mode. Now these are touch screen cameras, so um, you can rewind by just pushing this button and then rewind. And you'll see the time code on here. Time code is minutes, seconds, and frames. So I can stop it. Um, 43 seconds. So um, at the point that you want to capture this footage into a computer, um, you're going to want to need a firewire cable. Now we're, I'm talking about capturing it into Windows computers, Windows computers that have four pin firewires. And um, on, on this camera, if you look under here, let's kind of pull this out. You're looking for something that says DV, um, and you put this in here. Now, if you look on this computer, you have to look. You're going to see another thing. Now, this has 1394. That's the number. That's a four-pin firewire. Most Windows laptops that are like a year or two old came with a four-pin firewire connection. So the next step is, sometimes it'll automatically come up and ask you what you want to do, import the video. I am actually not going to do that. I'm going to go to Windows Movie Maker. I'm going to zoom. Windows Movie Maker. And so I'm going to say import from digital camera. Now this is the Vista version. It, it may just say import from camera. But I'm going to click on that. And it's going to ask me for a name and the format um, audio video interleave, which is an AIF file, which is what you want. Um, it's saving the tape. It's calling it videotape. That's fine. I'm going to go next. Now this is really important. This is really important to look at. It says import the entire videotape to my computer. It's like no, I don't want to import the entire tape because I only shot a few seconds. So I'm going to check or click only import parts of the videotape to my computer. So with that selected, I click next. Now I don't know if you heard it, but um, if you if you see this, I can actually control the camera from here. So if I press play, I'm going to see whatever was on this tape. But it's not importing it, it's just showing you it. Um, so at the point that I want to start recording, I say start video import. So it's, if you'll see under video imported, it's telling me how many seconds there are. I have no idea what this footage is. This is some different types of footage. 
Now I could click stop import video. So I could stop it here and um, I could actually fast forward the camera a little bit. I think. And then as it's playing, I could start importing video again. And then watch it. And then when I'm done, I'll hit finish. And you'll see it. It imported uh, a couple different pieces. Now at this time they're on my computer and um, I can drag them down to the timeline and edit them. And that's how you connect a camera and import using Windows Movie Maker.